you're going to eat this morning, which not should we choose, or even choosing which compartment of the Sometimes making decisions are not as easy as we have imagined. Today, I would like to share my story about making decisions with all of you. Once, when I was a three years old girl, my mom brought me to the dancing class. The main reason I started to dance was that I was too heavy at that time. However, gradually I found myself become better and better in dancing and simply fell in love with it. So, when I was nine years old, I decided to enter dance classes for talented students. I have different memory in elementary school. I spent more than two hours every day practice dancing. I learned ballet, modern dance, Chinese dancing when other kids are playing in the playground. Even when summer and winter vacation came, we still had to have extra training. Sometimes we complain about being deprived of our vacation, but most of us still enjoy it. And we were so proud of being one of the members in this class. After graduating from elementary school, some of us quit dancing. But most of us entered dance classes for talented students in junior high school. The training became tougher. The course was not just for developing our body or teaching basic things, but aimed to turn young dancers into professional dancers. We have to learn dances that require more skills, improve our strength, stretch ourselves to the extreme, like pulling our legs over our head, standing our own toes, held onto that position until we were trembled all over. Some of us got hurt, and some of us couldn't stand the stress of being trained so hard. Finally, seven of us left and I choose to stay. Time flies. After three years of hard work, I was admitted to the best dancing school in Taichung and was also admitted to National Tainan Girls Senior High School. However, I was standing at the crossroad in my life. One led me to be a dancer and the other would take me to a place that I was not familiar with. My parents never made decisions for me. For a 15 years old girl, it was a challenge to decide her own future. Which road should I take? And what decision I have made? You must know the answer because that's why I'm standing here. <laughs> the first day I stepped into National Thailand Girls Senior High School, I found myself having problems with my classmates. How could someone be so heavy? Why do they have their hair dyed or permed? Those things were not allowed in dancing classes. Another one is that, since I was not in a special class, I have no dance classes in my high school. Whenever I came to a performance, I felt awful and always cried in my heart. The one on the stage should be me. It really took me a lot of time to adapting myself to my new life. Sometimes I wonder, did I make the wrong decision? Did I really regret it? Or was it just a process of becoming a normal high school student? Those days are really hard to bear. But now, I can tell you that there's nothing called a wrong decision. When I look back to my high school life, I saw myself making progress and become more mature. I made friends with different merits and learned from them. I became the president of the wind band. And I also participated in all kinds of sports contests. Finally, I entered NTU. 
you may wonder that have you ever thought of what will happen if you choose another road? Of course I did, but there's no need to do so. All we have to do is to think carefully before we make a decision and embrace it. Some may be afraid of making mistakes. Some may be afraid of throwing themselves out of their comfort zone. But we have to remember, life is short. Don't waste time hesitating. Be brave and just do it. See you